you know where you are or what year you're living in? I can't accept this! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie depictions of the future. This is a time machine. All right, George, now you've had your little joke. Suppose you tell us what this contraption's really for. For this list, we're looking at the most inspiring, memorable, or iconic movie representations of mankind's future, while taking into account their depictions of technology, society, and the everyday lives of humans. She's a golden oldie, one of our first, probably before your time. Number 10, Demolition Man. Shit! Ah, oh, being frozen must have thrown my aim off. Nothing like putting your problems on ice. You will be placed in cryostasis for the duration of your sentence, during which your behavior will be altered through synaptic suggestion. When humans start freezing criminals in this science fiction movie, weapons and vice get outlawed to create an entirely pacifist society. You'll be eligible for parole no earlier than the year 2046. This future is extra nice, since it doesn't need an overpowered police force and its lack of human contact leads to some interesting technologies. Demand maniac lie down with hands behind back. Cool cars, weird high fives, and a civilization that appears truly at peace make for a very safe future, so long as those criminals stay on ice. Look, you do what you gotta do, I know what I gotta do. I gotta nail that maniac and put Safety him on ice, or that's where I'm gonna be. The weirder aspects of Demolition Man's vision of 2032 include commercials totally replacing music, even kids with chicken pox love hot dogs. dogs. Automatic ticketing for foul language. Are you shitting me? John Spartan, you are fined one credit for a violation of the verbal morality statute. And Taco Bell being the only fast food restaurant to survive the franchise wars. Enjoy your meal, sir. Good thing I'm hungry. Number nine, idiocracy. The years passed and mankind became stupider at a frightening rate. Here one moment, gone the next. Okay, my n****s, we're almost set here. Just go ahead and lie down, relax. After being frozen for 500 years, Average Joe wakes up to discover that he is the smartest man alive in this satirical science fiction comedy. Okay, wait a minute. I'm the smartest guy in the world? Says who? The IQ test you took in prison. You got the highest score in history. Brought to you by Carl's Jr. The human race has degraded intellectually, and the world has suffered for it. But how are we gonna figure out about the garbage ambulances and the comedy? And what about the nuclear reactor in Florida? Food shortages plague mankind, until Joe manages to fix the problem through a simple farming solution. I give you my word as president. Fix the problems with all the dead crops. He's gonna make them grow again. As technology pervades our lives, the potential for humanity to dovetail intellectually is ever present. But surely a monster truck derby sentencing isn't the dumbest idea this future has in store. Are you ready for a monster truck duel to the dead? Number eight. Mad Max. You've not got a sense of humor. Strike down the unroadworthy. When the world begins to exhaust its fuel reserves, the main force patrol's Max is left to contend with the bikers that have risen to power in this post apocalyptic gem. <laughs> Barren landscapes and a world filled with anarchy certainly make for an undesirable future. I am the Nod Rider. <laughs> I'm a fuel injected suicide machine. And a potent reminder of the danger our dependence on fossil fuels can create. With an ecological and economical message that haunts us to this day, we can only hope to get on Max's good side when he drives by. Number seven, Akira. Neo Tokyo is going to change soon. Neo Tokyo never had an imagining as realistic as it seems in this anime masterpiece. What in the world is happening here in Neo Tokyo? What you see here seems to be fires caused by tank cannons. 
But who is this young boy standing alone? After a nuclear bomb detonates, inciting World War III, Tokyo races into the future with towering skyscrapers and a seedy underground. You tried to mess with me, and now I'm gonna kill you! The bars are a stark contrast to the buildings that consume the sky, but it's the little touches like electric motorcycles, a strong military presence, laser weapons, and a city built on the remains of the past that make this an awe-inspiring depiction of the future. Bastards! I'm coming! Damn them! Come on! Number six, her. Do you want to know how I work? Yeah, actually. How do you work? Because being able to find out the weather in advance just isn't enough. Email from Los Angeles Times Weather. Your seven-day forecast is part of Delete. No new emails. Perhaps the most immediate potential future on this list. In this sci-fi rom-com, we're asked what would happen if the technology in our hands finally went to the next level. Do you love me? <laughs> Tell me you love me. Oh, God. Brimming with personality, Theodore's operating system Samantha swayed our hearts when she reminded us that AI didn't always have to turn out evil and could be a lot more interesting than a simple assistant. Good morning. Hey. What are you up to? I don't know. Just reading advice columns. <laughs> Aside from folks falling in love with computers, the future in her shows the believable evolution of technologies we love today, including a revival of chat rooms. The following are adult female, can't sleep, and want to have some fun. Number five, Logan's Run. I go right next year. Your clock is ticking. Question, do I get my four years back? In Logan's Run's conception of the year 2274, humans live under the protection of a dome with their daily lives controlled by a computer and are allowed to live until they must be renewed, read, die, at 30 years old. Although there is a promise of rebirth, this population control method seems to be the only flaw in a society filled with advanced machinery, robots, pyramid-like structures, and every pleasure in the palm of your hand. Do you want me to take my clothes off? Not for your face. Though it appears to be a utopia on the surface, we're not sure how we feel about not being able to live past 30. Well, no one has to die at 30! You can live! Live! Number four, Blade Runner. Shall we continue? Do androids dream of the future? Flying cars known as spinners, iconic video advertisement, and a melting pot of cultures made for one of the most detailed futures ever conceived in this neo-noir dystopian film. A new life awaits you in the off-world colony. The, the chance to begin, begin again, again in a golden land of opportunity and adventure. Humanity has colonized other worlds and sent replicants there to work. I need you, Dex. This is a bad one. The worst yet. But it's when they return to Earth and Rick Deckard has to hunt them in the city that we get our best look at our gritty future. We've been dreaming of it ever since. I trust me. I trust you. Number three, Back to the Future Part Two. 2015? You mean we're in the future? Where we're going? We don't need roads. Not only do we get Jaws 19, but Marty McFly's run in 2015 also gave us hoverboards, flying cars, super accurate weather predictions, holograms, and even a next generation microwave to hydrate your food. <laughs> don't you be a smart ass. I'll break the atrocity channel. Hydrate level four, please. This is a future that took us onto the streets and into the home to see how a family would live with new technology. And the surprising answer turned out to be a lot like how we live today. Hello, in here, please. Hey, Big M. How's it hanging, McFly? At least it predicted the rise of motion-controlled gaming and nostalgia, sort of. You mean you have to use your hands? That's like a baby's toy. Hmm. Number two, Metropolis.
the first sci-fi masterpiece. Fritz Lang painted a world of immense skyscrapers, vehicles zipping around, and androids that walk the streets for this epic black and white science fiction flick. The cars may be grounded, but having planes fly around the city suggested the potential for absolute freedom. Contrast that with the machines that keep the lower classes working, and you have a future that serves as both a warning of technology's dominance and a potent reflection on Lang's contemporary society. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. It's not too late to back out. This is the last day that you're going to be you and I'm going to be me. Because of its enormous popularity, Soylent Green is in short supply. Remember, Tuesday is Soylent Green Day. Welcome to Mars, man! What the hell was that? An accident? That's the Rebels, man! Indeterminate life signs. Number one, the Star Trek franchise. Taze is unstunned. Set your phasers to stun. Set phasers to stun. The 60s TV show may have started at all, but the movies continued that legacy. Live long and prosper. Unity between humans and intergalactic space travel sent our imaginations flying through time. I read you, Captain. Let's have it. As we traveled with Kirk and Picard. This is Captain Picard of the Enterprise. I'm taking command of the fleet. Everything from Star Trek's high-tech gadgets to the Enterprise itself made us excited for the final frontier and the inevitable otherworldly encounters. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. We can't wait for mankind to warp into this future, one absent of disease, poverty, or money. And that's why it gets the number one spot. Lieutenant Hawk, set a course for Earth. Aye, sir. Maximum warp. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite movie depiction of the future? Discovery is quite possible. Our blue fairy does exist in one place and in one place only. At the end of the world where the lions weep. For more Unreal Top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.